Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Cavette five zero one one eight here, playing some more Stardew Valley. Uh, today, I got my first trophy for this game, and that is uh, just catching fish. I actually uh, caught some um, white sea uh, seaweed or something like that, and that was like the last uh, the last item that I needed to to get. Um, for fishing items and uh, yeah I got uh, got one trophy I'll go and see if I can show the progress here in a minute so what I've learned from Stardew Valley uh, recently is that um, mining in the cave is really important in this game because um, you get better equipment from there you get um, the the geo nodes and the geo nodes really provide so much of the um, essential or um, rare materials that you need to progress in the game um, yeah I, I Another thing I've been doing too, what you just saw there, that's um, from selling stuff in the bin. I've been doing a lot of harvesting on my land. Um, so like, uh, for example, oh, I have my ax right now in the shop to get upgraded. Um, here, let me try and see if I can get some materials to to sell it's called shipping them um, when you put them in the crate it's pretty much basically just automatically selling them but it, um, it's like a faster way of uh, selling stuff I want to see if my axe is uh, upgraded. Uh, I really want my axe back. Um, and I've even been trying to upgrade the community center to do the quest there. For the community center, you need to get um, kind of rare items to unlock certain bundles. Um, I like to check this area for flowers. Oh, there we go. There's a grape and like, um, this is a great source of, uh, berries or flowers that are valuable. They're great for gifts. So if you run into someone in the town, it's, um, good to have something. Or if your, um, energy level is low, it's a great way of, uh, Increasing your energy level Just having some fruit. Let's see. Here's some guy here uh, Farm guy. I got a question for you When I turn pro um, Sit can you say you're my first fa fan? I don't know about that So I just gave him some uh, grapes So the um, blacksmith, he's the guy that will um, um, Well, I've got a geo node here. I can show you what he does. Awesome. He just gave me my copper axe. The copper axe is an upgraded axe that should be able to break like um, more things. So what... Um, and to do that you upgrade your tools to do this you need um, 5,000 um, uh, money and then you need bars like first you need copper bars but then you need silver bars oh to start out it's only 2,000 2,000 and 5 copper bars you get copper really easy by digging in the mine um, so yeah uh, there's a steel axe uh, you can also upgrade your watering can, your pickaxe, and your hoe. Um, oh, what I wanted to show was the process geo nodes. So what you do, I only have two here right now, but you um, select 
his anvil and you get some random item outside of these geonodes. Um, it doesn't look like I got like very many valuable things. Looks like I got copper ore and earth crystal. Um, now, I believe earth crystal is one of the things that you can take over here. Like, I've already done it, but if you get an earth crystal and you haven't had one before, you take it to this guy. Like, see how he's saying I don't have anything to donate at this time? Keep my, keep up my treasure hunting. But with opening, like, a whole bunch of those geo nodes, here's all the things I've been able to donate so far. Um, let's see, I've gotten, um, Jenga Knight, um, Petrified Slime, um, Quartz, the Earth Crystal, um, wait, that's still Earth Crystal, hang on, a Celestine, Amethyst, Topaz, Jamborite, Mudstone, uh, now this is a Dwarvish Helm, um, so yeah, you can even get like some, um, I don't remember where I got the Dwarvish Helm from, here's a Thunder Egg, according to the legends, angry thunder spirits would throw these stones at one another. S um, slate. Uh, Nikoite. <laughs> it's like Nico Nico Nee. Um, Al Almite. Al Al Almanite. This one Sandstone. And, um, this one's Malachi Malachit. I don't know. I, I'm not really good at pronouncing things. But yeah, that's some of the stuff um, that I was able to get from um, from harvesting geonodes. There I gave a, a couple of the fruit items to the people in there. Giving gifts is a good way to in increase your friends. Um, yeah, let me go and go to the mine and I'll kind of show a little bit. Um, one thing kind of cool about the mine is um, there's an elevator that um, if you clear five levels you will find an elevator and then you can like fast travel back to that location and it does it for every five or every set of five levels um, almost there You get kind of used to walking around in this place. Um, since you do it pretty re repetitively. So I've only got a little bit of time. Um, it's already 12 o'clock. See, I've got all the way up to level 25 uh, uncovered. So while you're in here, um, pickaxe is good to have. Um, so is your sword. So you'll be fighting a couple uh, enemies. There already is an exit point. You know, I'm. Uh, here's another enemy here. Um, interesting. I got another exit point. I don't know why that you can get multiple exit points in, within the same level. It's kind of odd. Um, I don't know if there's a beneficial part to using one over the other. Um, I 
yeah, there's a a lot of stones to um to break in these areas. Lots of enemies you can fight. Lots of materials you can get here. Um, most of the time I'm getting stone, but uh, sometimes you get stone and like, say, uh, copper ore, iron ore, um, or you might get a G node as well. Here I got coal and stone. Um, so I got two stuff there there I just got got a G node. Um I don't know if the G nodes stay in the same location every time or if it's um completely random. These flies are kind of a tough enemy. This larva there will turn into a fly if I don't kill it quickly. These enemies here are not really that much of a threat to you, so, um, I don't know, if you don't have to kill it and it's not an immediate threat, um, it, it's up to you if you want to fight them or not. So here, here's a, um, an earth crystal. I just picked one up off the ground. These guys will attack you, um, it's weird, I think it... The area has turned toxic. Um, so I gotta get out of here quickly. My health is going down very quickly as well. I think I have to defeat these enemies. Sometimes defeating enemies um, opens up a door. There we go, that was the last enemy. The toxicity has gone down. Um, I don't know why it does that, that's weird. Um, there I got some copper ore. And I can show you also how to use copper ore and turn it into bars. That is a requirement to have to upgrade your, um, um, armor stuff. I'm going to try and go down, um, try and move quickly through these floors, because I would like to try and get to level 30. Here's a larger slime. When I defeat him, he turns into a whole bunch of smaller slimes. He dropped an amethyst, which is interesting. Um, oh, here's a uh, earth crystal, I think. Yeah, an earth crystal. Cool. More slimes. I got some green allergy and rubber boots. I think I've already got rubber boots. I can double check here in a minute. But yeah, um... Oh, uh, looks like I'm getting pretty hurt. Um... Uh, oh wait, no, this is food. I can use that to heal. Fried calamari. I got it in, in, in the mail. So I'm, I'm in the... I'm in green now, so that's good. Okay, so that's where the exit is. A way down has appeared. Um, Alright. Next area.
Awesome, it showed right up. So I'm at 29, so I'm only one floor away from 30. So, cool. I'll get another uh, elevator location. Got another geo node, which is nice. It's 8 o'clock at night, so I still have a couple hours, but I'm, I am running out of time. I, I do want to hurry this up. So I want to be out of here by at least 10. Oh, there was an enemy there. So he shows up in this stuff here. Um, there's certain enemies that only show up in these areas. And they can drop things too. It can be kind of dark down here in the cave. Um, it is kind of nice if you have a light um, with you. also break crates down here as well. What is that? Oh, wind spire. That's new. A cave carrot. That is an item that you need for the community center. Um, as far as uh, kind of like one of their um, things you have to bring to the community center to um, energy level is low. I gotta be careful. Can I eat anything? That gives minus energy. Oh, here we go. Green allergy. I didn't know that. Actually gives you a little bit of health and energy. Not a lot, but something. Um... And I have upgraded my backpack. Um, so I'm eating the cave carrot that will also give me energy. Just a little bit, but it, it helps out a lot. Oh, defeating that enemy gave me the spot. Awesome. So now I've got this floor activated. Um, I'll just look at the next one um I think I'll break this and now I'll, I'll go okay so I got copper ore awesome I'm gonna go and leave the mine I gotta try and get to my house it's already 11 o'clock uh it's not good um so I've got an hour that, that I have to run back to my house and it is nighttime. I have set a little bit of lights down to help me um, travel, but clearly I've not set enough because it's pretty dark. So I need to get some, I need to be in my bed by I think one o'clock. If I'm not in there by one o'clock, I think I just pass out. This is not good. I've got 30 minutes to be in my bed, which is kind of like a it's not very long at all. Um, awesome. I did it. Alright, so I made it into the into bed without passing out. So it will um, tally up the um, items I put into the... Um, oh, did I not put any items in? Hmm... Okay, so I got some mail. Uh, 
My knee's acting up again. You know what helps rubbing the darn thing with hot pepper. Um, trouble is my supply run runs dry. Hope you got one to spare. I'd be much obligated. Cool. So I got a new quest. So you can drop stuff in here. Um, I like dropping fiber, sap. Um, whoa, what is this? These um, geonodes contain a wide variety of minerals. Ooh. Let's put some stone in there. Um, I think I'll go ahead and put the bug meat. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see what this upgraded hammer can do. Or, I mean, axe. The upgraded axe. Oh, and I also need to bring this iron bar to the community center. Also. So, um... What I'm hoping that the uh, that this thing does is maybe this one. And it looks like it's a... It, yeah, it just chopped down the large stump. Um, so, that's awesome. And it gives me a different type of wood. It gives me hardwood. Um, let me see if it'll do the log also. Nope, not strong enough. But it does this one, so that's really good. Uh, I don't remember how much hardwood I need, so I'm just gonna grab as much as I can of the hardwood from my farm, and then we'll go to the community center. It's surprising how much um, energy is taken away from you when you're using your um, your axe. Um, like already, um, my energy is about halfway. I started my day, I think at 6 a.m. It's already 8 a.m. Only two hours, and my energy is almost gone. The energy level that's supposed to be for your whole day. I know I'm going to need a lot of that um, type of wood, um, so I'm going to see what else I can find here. There's one. So right now I'm at 32 hardwood. Um, I don't know how much I'll need for um, the community center. Um, but I guess I can go find out. My energy level is really low, um, so I'm going to go to the house and get some energy. I've got plants stored away that I can eat and... Um, Oops. I can even make a, uh, an energy bar too. So, yeah, rubber boots is something I've already got. 
So I'll go ahead and put these away. I've already found before uh, leather boots, uh, rubber boots, and um, let me show you what I've got equipped on my guy right now. So, I've, oh wait, no, these are actually not as good as the leather boots. Maybe I should get those back. Um, because leather boots do one defense and immunity, whereas this one does Im Im immunity only. So yeah, I should switch those. Um, I don't know why I thought it was better. Um, so yeah, I've got it down the person. Go ahead and put those in this chest here, the uh, rubber ones. I'll also craft a field snack. Do I only have enough for one? Looks like it, only enough for one. Um, increase my energy a little bit. Oh, that wasn't very much. Um, Need the biggest number of energy. That does 50 energy. Oh wow. Cauliflower does 105. Okay. Team. This leak does 56. That one does 72. Okay. Um That was a hundred. And then this one is a 72. Alright, so I'm like ready to... I've got enough energy for the rest of the day. I'm going to toss some more stuff in here. Some more sap, a pine cone. I'm going to keep my slime, that. Um, keep my amethyst. Drop an acorn, some wood. Should be good. So what I'm going to do right now is go to the community center. I've got a silver bar um, that I would like to put into the collection of things that I'm trying to collect in the community center. And by completing these collections of items it'll actually give you things also so your first collection of items will be over in this room here in this spot the first one I was able oh I can't click on it but what, what you have here is several different plant types that they want you to co collect this is the winter foraging bundle there's the fall forging bundle, um, the exotic forging bundle. So the cave carrot and the red um, mushroom, these are things you find in the cave. Um, you can put those in there. Now it just has to be five of these items. So if you can find any or five of those, you can put them in. Um, but it's only one of them. Now, what I've got that I, that I need to put in is, um, wait, was it over here? I don't remember where it was at. Okay, spring crops, animal bundles, fall crops. Okay, so these are still crops. The animal bundles, they want you to get, like, milk, eggs, goat milk. Um, this is fish bundles here let me show you what I've got so far I wish you would say the name of the type of fish um, so you knew which type you're still missing I'm pretty sure that's a catfish there um, yeah there's different types of fish they want you to bring ocean fish bundle crab bundle now this one is 
you just go to the ocean and you can find most of these items like a mussel a clam um, the crab is actually something you find in the cave um, I don't know about some of those other items but most of those you can find just by visiting the ocean um, night fishing and uh, lake fishing bundle but the one I'm here for is uh, over here I think yeah this one here the blacksmith bundle I've got an iron bar and I can put it right in there so now all I need is a gold bar and I will have this bundle complete once I do that they'll give me like something um, I think if I get all these done it says reward is mine carts repaired so that's kind of interesting um, definitely takes a long time to get all these different items because some of them are seasonal um, let me go back over to the blacksmith and uh, undo some of these uh, new items I just got so the valley looks more interesting in the rain don't you think can I give her anything? Um, ooh, yeah, I got a new sword. That's cool, the wind spire. Um, I think the sword I have is better than that. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Okay, so I want to process the geonodes. And I've got this type two of them so I got something there and um, I don't think either one of those are really all that new so that looks new I think I don't know where it is but it looks new let's see where it is it's a fire quartz I should take that to the um, library place so I think that's a new item. Oh, I forgot to check and see how much, um... So donate to the museum. And I'll select the fire quartz. And then, um, I'll just place the item. Now you can even get rewards for donating to the museum. Yeah, I forgot, I wanted to check um, how much of the hardwood I need for the community center. Now that I'm able to gather it, um, how much do I need?